Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and one of the questions that I've had and I've had it a few times because people were wondering what WDDM is which is the Windows Display Driver Model. It's a special driver for graphics adapters. So what happens in Windows is that uh, in the last few versions the uh, drivers for the display have changed to this new standard that Microsoft is pushing. So when you go into the device manager um, you could see that you have display adapters and those display adapters will need to actually work with some of the display models uh, or the drivers for the display model that Microsoft pushes. One of the questions that had arrived from this is Windows 11 requires you to have a more modern Windows display driver model and people are asking me well what is what's that? It's simply that this is a requirement for device drivers that show d or display the screen. Graphics adapters have different powers. The older the adapter, the less it has the newer technologies to display animations, videos, games, and so on. The Windows driver or the Windows display driver model actually adds features every time it's updated. So right now we're at the WDDM 3.1 which is a requirement for Windows 11. And what that brings is new uh, things like, you know, shader model 6.7, DMA uh, mapping. There is also, um, if you look at the new version when it went to 3.0, um, you had dynamic refresh rates, you had direct 3D12, video encoding, and so on. So every time there's a new Windows display driver model, it adds new capabilities that the operating system or games can use. Now, Windows 11 has some animations, has some display changes that might require to have newer display drivers, and not all of the hardware is capable of that. So, one of the things also that was asked today is what is Windows Display Driver Model? Because we've seen today that WDDM 3.2 has been spotted in a preview version of Windows 11. And some speculations is that maybe that's going to be either the future for you know Windows 11 next year, or it could be something that has to do with Windows 12. And that we're not sure because we don't know really exactly what happens. But some people are speculating that this might be the new Windows display driver model that Windows 12 will have in time. But, you know, it's still a start. It's still something that they just started working on. Once again, adding capabilities to graphics adapters, as long as these graphics adapters are compatible with these capabilities. So that's why some were left behind for the display adapter, because if you have an older machine, your display adapter might not be compatible with the newer shaders and the newer functionalities that graphics might want to use. So Windows is a graphic user interface, so depending on how they evolve the system and add animations and all sorts of new features to the display, well, it might require some of the newer uh, features that display adapters will have because it's going to help it actually render video and render the animations much faster. So that's pretty much what it's all about. It's all about display and adding features to displays, um, you know, like animations of all sorts and so on, that wasn't there before with newer adapters. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.